Welcome to the Mastercam 2019 Mill Advanced Video Training Series tutorial number one. In this tutorial, we'll create the wireframe needed to create a solid. Geometry creation commands such as extrude create body, extrude cut body, fillet, and chamfer will be used. We will select a machine definition and set up the stock. A surface high speed area roughing toolpath will be created to rough out the part. A surface high speed horizontal toolpath will be created to machine the floors. A surface high speed waterline toolpath will be created to machine the walls. Backplot and verify will be used to simulate a step by step process of the tool's movements. Finally, we will post process the file to obtain an NC file containing the necessary code for the machine. First, we will create rectangles. Select wireframe and then select Rectangle. Enter the width as 6 inches and the height as 6 inches, then press Enter. Enable Anchor to Center. Then select the origin. Press OK and create new operation. Change the width to 4.5 and the height to 4.5 and make sure anchor to center is enabled. Then select the origin. Press OK and create new operation. Enter the width as 2.25 and the height as 1.75 and press enter. Then select the fast point icon. Enter the coordinates as minus 1, comma, 1.25 and press enter. Press OK to exit the command. Next, we will create fillets for two of the rectangles. Click the arrow under fillet entities and select fillet chains. Select this rectangle here and then select this one here. Then press OK. Make sure the method is set to normal and the radius is set to 0.5 and make sure trim entities is enabled. Press OK. Select circle center point. Enter the radius as 0.85 and press enter. Select the fast point icon and enter the coordinates as 1.1875 comma 1.25 and press enter. Then press OK to exit the command. Select line endpoints. Make sure freeform and tangent are selected Set the length as 1 inch and the angle as 225. Then press enter. Select the center point of this circle. Then press OK. Select circle center point. Change the radius to 0.25 and press enter. Then select this intersection point. Press OK. Select this line and press delete on your keyboard. Select divide. Then select the arc here. Press OK. Select fillet entities. Make sure the radius is 0.25 and trim entities is enabled and the method is set to normal. Select the circle here and then select this circle and repeat the process on the other side. Press OK to exit the command. Next, we will mirror the shapes. Hold shift on your keyboard and select the first entity here and then this one. 
select Transform. Then select Mirror. Make sure Copy is enabled, and the axis is set to X. Then press OK and create new operation. In the Quick Masks area, select all result entities. Then press End Selection. Change the method to Move, and set the axis to Y. Then press OK to exit the command, and clear colors.